Rock 108. Hey, it's Ned hanging out here in the studio. And once again, the amazingness that is WWE is returning to the U.S. Cellular Center in Cedar Rapids. That's WWE Live Holiday Tour. That is next Monday, November 26. Great seats starting at just 15 bucks. Now, if you've never seen wrestling live before, you really need to. It is so awesome, man. And today... He might hand out a muscle buster over the phone to me because, yeah, I do have WWE superstar Samoa Joe on the phone. Joe, how's it going, man? I'm excellent. How about yourself, sir? Uh, not too bad. Just hanging out in the studio trying to stay warm in this cold Iowa weather. Whereabouts are you today? We're in lovely Southern California. We're at the Staples <laughs> Center. I'm sitting underneath uh, several Lakers championship banners. And I'm talking to you. So it's, uh, it's not too bad out here. It's actually quite pleasant. But, yeah, I was about you know, to hey, say. Listen, it, Iowa, it's different stock of people. Yeah, that's people. true. You know what I mean? We, we like thrive in these conditions. That's what they're made for. Right. <laughs> See, we like to freeze out here. That's what we like. Yeah. That's, that's what we're known for. <laughs> well, yeah. of course, you got the big th- triple threat match happening against Rusev, Shinsuke, Nakamura, and yourself going to be happening at the USL Center this Monday. Do you have any predictions for that match? Yes. Uh, I predict I'm going to walk in. Uh, I'm going to slap a lot of people in their mouths <laughs> and or faces, heads, necks, and chest. I'm, uh, I, I, I'm probably going to uh, uh, say some embarrassing things and disparaging things about them personally. Maybe <laughs> those maybe those loved ones very close to them. And then oh. after I'm done with all this, uh, I, I, will, I will throw them down to the mat, pin them uh, accordingly uh, with my hand raised in the air. One, two, three. All the children celebrate. I'm pretty sure horns and trumpets will blast in the background. <laughs> Fireworks will go off. And it's just a, it's going to be a real great celebration. I just really hate for, for, the, for the wonderful people of Iowa in these cold, hard conditions to miss all that joy and all that happiness that will appear once I get there. And, and, and I claim my championship victory. Hell yeah, man. Damn straight. You haven't said better yourself, man. Well, you know, you know, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it, gentlemen. I mean, you know, we, we, we need things to look forward to, things to get excited for. And I, I'm just trying to make people excited. Let, let them know that there'll be a grand celebration, that violence will be done, and that people will be laid out on the ground. And I shall stand victorious. Probably with uh, fluids from my opponents leaking down my fists, hopefully blood, if it's other things, well, that happens. But these are the things, these are the moments that I want everybody to come out and, and enjoy and share with us, and, and, and I really hope everybody makes it out. So, Samoa Joe said it right here. If you don't make it to the show, you're going to miss all of this amazing action. All of that. Yeah. All of that. And he's going to be sitting on everybody in the coming. They're, they're all going to be talking about it. You're going to go to the water cooler. You're going to look like an idiot. Because, you know, they're like, <laughs> hey, did you see when he punched him into the teeth, slide to the third row, and the children screamed with joy. And and you're gonna be like, no, I didn't see that. I was at home watching Matlock. I I didn't know. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't. You know, you don't want to be the guy at home watching Matlock. You know, you want to be out there in the mix with us, having a blast and a good time. Exactly. You don't want to miss it, man. Well, recently on November sixth, which is just like what about a week or two ago now, Daniel uh, Bryan attacked you on the Survivor Series after getting a submission against Jeff Hardy, which then the Miz and even Shane McMahon got him to stop. What was his motivation behind getting getting up in you? The story is wrong. First off, uh, yeah. I had won. I had, I had just submitted Jeff Hardy. Right, that, that's uh, what I win, meant to, to say. To win Sorry. my place on Team SmackDown because yep. I thought you know it obviously it was a competition to get on there. Then the next week they just add Jeff Hardy just willy nilly just because they they feel like so apparently you know uh, it wasn't a competition. I walked out. I'm celebrating. I'm feeling good because once again I've won decidedly, very convincingly in a dominating fashion. And I wanted to go celebrate with my teammate, with my 2B teammate, Daniel Bryan at ringside, raised my hands up for him. Mm-hmm. He got all testy. He got, felt a little bad, felt some type of way about it. You know, get, threw a cheap shot at me, waited until my back was turned, which is disgusting and wrong. Yeah. You know, tried to put some submission on me. You know, Miz came in and pulled them off because I was about to just get up, just whip, whip him, you know, half to death. But, you know, Miz only sticking his nose in my business. And then, uh, you know, goes off those temper tantrum. Now he's all uh, uppity, uh, mad little teenager uh, <laughs> and uh, really angst-ridden. And somehow, some way, he... Uh, you know, cons his way into a championship spot. So you know, uh, that, that's Daniel Bryan for you. I said he was always. Uh, I always said he was a scumbag. Nobody believed me. Now he is a scumbag. And, oh man! And I guess you know. I, I told you. You know, I try to tell everybody, but nobody want to listen to me. You know, because I'm telling the truth around here. But uh, you know, so uh, you know, we're, we're, he's the next target. You know, we're concentrating on him now. Damn straight. Well, hell, man, and you get good luck and definitely taking down Daniel Bryan himself. Oh, well, you're not taking him down, but you know, if, if he's going to act like that way, man, you got to yeah, stand up yeah, for yourself. Yeah, we, we got to straighten people out. Keep them honest. Keep them honest. You know what I'm saying? Damn straight, man. Well, kind of kind of pulling back a little bit, um, I, I like to hear more about Samoa Joe the man because um, you've had a, quite an amazing career starting all the way in the late 90s to right about now, obviously. Can you recall that moment when you feel like you truly made it in the wrestling world? Um, I mean, you know, I, I think uh, the first time I ever, you know, walked down to a 20,000 people and realized, hey, 
I think this is my new job. Uh, and that's kind of <laughs> how it was. You know, early on my career, I worked for uh, several companies overseas. And uh, I remember it was a sold out Osaka Castle Hall in, in Osaka, Japan, and, and walking out there. And I think that was the first time in my career that I really realized, hey, there's a lot of people here to see me. Yeah, Maybe man. Maybe something I should be doing. So uh, uh, I think that was the tell, 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 tell moment. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and me being a, a radio DJ myself, there's times, sometimes I get to go out on stage and announce a band or something like that. But so I can relate with you, man. Seeing those like 20,000 people or however many people that are there at a show, it there's nothing better. It's like intoxicating in a way. It's a weird drug, you know? It's like an adrenaline rush. Yeah, I mean, and, and listen, I've seen all your work, you know, your fog hat. You're all, you know, this is, uh, you know, ACDC. I mean, you do good stuff, man. I mean, you're <laughs> one of the better. Guys, to bring out acts on stage. Let me tell you. Hey, hey you're Skinner. Your Skinner's on parallel. You know what I mean. You really bought him out nice. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I, and something I can relate with you on. I noticed you're quite a video gamer, right? Absolutely. No, and you have a Twitch channel, and I also have a Twitch channel. What games are you currently playing right now? Uh, so we, we we got a lot of things to mix. Obviously, there's the uh, probably the longest ongoing second grudge tournament ever in the locker room of WWE, and that's uh, kind of company-wide. Absolutely. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely on a Call of Duty. We're pl- playing a lot of the blackout mode because, you know, it's uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we're, we're not uh, young enough to really be on the Fortnite pit. Uh, <laughs> and I think uh, the other big thing that we're on is, uh, you know, obviously the, the sports games, Matt, UFC, boxing, you name it. Uh, if it involves uh, some form of competition, it's, it's probably being played around. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Now, what was that moment when you when you saw yourself as a digital wrestler in a WWE game where you're just like, this is what I've been amounting to? <laughs> uh, pretty much. You know, this is what's, what's one of those uh, one of those little uh, milestones that you always love to uh, to uh, you know uh, to, to see happen to you. And and obviously, it's always fun uh, when you're when you're playing a game with your friends. You'd be like, oh, uh, let's see, who am I going to be? Oh, I'll be me because <laughs> they are because I'm a thing in here. Yeah. And nobody else. Nobody else in here is. Stop you know, crying, mom. You know that's like usually how it works out of my house. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now, how far does your gaming love go? Does it go all the way back to like the or mid '80s where you're playing original Nintendo, or were you a little bit later? Oh, original Nintendo. That's cute. Is that what y'all were playing back then? No, no, no. Oh, we yeah. Go way back, man. We got we got all the systems, man. I got I got ColecoVision. Ooh. I got I got twenty six hundred Master Systems. I got I got the whole night. I got Commodore. Oh. I got Commodore sitting in the basement. I mean, we uh, I got a, I got a museum on my house. You <laughs> no. name it, we've, we've been playing it. Oh, I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous because <laughs> I love that old stuff, man. I got an old school Atari and Nintendo controller tattooed. I, I, got, I got the ColecoVision with the little sliding handles you can play Pong with. I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> those were the best, man. They're, and they still work. That's always the fun thing about them. It's like they oh, still well, yeah, work. I mean, they're built with sheet metal iron. I think I'm pretty sure the ColecoVision had a rip cord and a choke. So I mean, they're, <laughs> you know, they're, they're built sturdy back then. Yep, you, you put gas in it and it'll keep going. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, Thanksgiving, you know, as you know, is just around the corner. What's your favorite dish that you're having on the table? Uh, so, and everybody does traditional turkey, but uh, we have a long tradition of uh, of uh, every one of the uh, brothers in my family. They get a shot at the the, the prime rib, and uh, oh man, my my second oldest brother. So we'll see how he does. My prime rib last year, uh, par excellence. Oh my god! <laughs> so you've got a unique table of dishes, essentially. Oh yeah, yeah. We we, we keep it very unique. <laughs> that's awesome man and since thanksgiving is pretty much coming down to a court do you celebrate christmas in your family oh absolutely yeah, right. we're a big big christmas family we usually get everybody together some more families very very large so uh you know it's always quite the event oh yeah absolutely so what does samoa joe want for christmas this year well it's quite simple i want for all the fans around the world to be able to come to a wwe show and enjoy themselves and, and really have an experience that's once in a lifetime and while they're having this experience, hopefully I'll be hoisting a golden belt in the air and celebrating all along with you. And there'll be peace on earth. And God bless to everyone. <laughs> I don't think you can say it any better yourself right there, man. WWE Live Holiday Tour rocking the U.S. Cellular Center on November 26th. That is next Monday. Great C starting at just 15 bucks. You can see Samoa Joe there taking on Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. You can see him bringing down right there, man. Sound good? Sounds great.